In this video, I'll show you how to add trailing zeros to make numbers of a specific length in Excel. Let's say for the purpose of this tutorial that you need to convert the values in column A into values that are precisely six digits in length by adding zeros. To do this, I will use the rept and length functions. In column B, I'll use the following formula. Equals, then the value in cell A3, followed by an ampersand. The ampersand allows me to append a value to the value in cell A3. Next, I'll add rept, followed by an opening bracket. The tooltip shows us that the next parameter required is the value we want to replace. In this case, it's a zero, so I'll put that within quotes. I'll add a comma before the next parameter, which is the number of times we need to add a zero. If all of the values in column A were of the same length, I would simply put the number here. However, because the values in column A are of varying lengths, we need to add a system to determine how many zeros need to be added. Since I want all my values to be six digits in length, I'll start with a six. Now I'll add the minus sign because I want to subtract the number of digits in column A. This is where we can use the len function. To calculate the number of digits in column A, I'll use the len function by adding len and then an opening bracket followed by cell A3. And then I'll add two closing brackets to finish the formula. I'll click enter and I can see that my original value of 234 now has three trailing zeros. Now to copy the formula to the remaining rows. Look at that. All of the values in column B are six digits in length with the correct number of trailing zeros added to each of them. If you'd like to learn how to add or remove leading zeros to values, check out this video.